Today we are joined by Ms. Lisa Lippincott, High School North Educational Services Professional for 2020-2021. Can you explain your role at High School North? So I am High School North's Library Media Specialist. So I am in charge of basically not only the space, but all of the um, materials that are in there. Our media center houses our makerspace. So my job is not just about books, which people often think when they think about libraries and media centers, but it's really a, a huge technology portal as well, places for people to go to you know, create and explore, obviously to get a good book. It's also, you probably know, a pretty good place to hang out when everybody's allowed in there that we get quite a crowd. So my job really is just to have a space for all people who need help, whether it's students or teachers, have a place to go for both books, technology, and whatever else pretty much they may need. So what is an educational services professional? Like, what does it mean? So basically what it means is we don't fall under the role of classroom teacher. So our jobs are slightly different. So when you are an educational service professional, basically it just means that you are one of those like extra positions that provide support to a wide variety of people. So where teachers are often like categorized as like an English teacher or a history teacher or a technology teacher, um, we're really not. We can kind of float around into any different space for any different content area or subject. So our goal really or our job is to provide support to students and staff in any way we can. So how did you get into this? Like what kind of schooling did you have to have to become? <laughs> well, I was actually an English teacher first. So I was an English teacher for a number of years. So I've already had that kind of like, you know, literature based book side as part of my career and, and what I love anyway. Um, when I was at my previous school, the library media specialist there was a very good friend of mine. And, and I used to go in there and help all the time. And I always loved the action. You know, everything's different every day. So instead of being in a classroom where you kind of, you know, set up your lessons and move, the library was like, I got to see everybody. It wasn't just my students, my classes. I got to be able to help the, the teachers as well. So from that experience, I decided it's something I wanted to do. Um, you do need a master's to do it. So I did go get a master's at um, New Jersey City University um, over the course of my teaching career. And when the opportunity at Middletown came up, I ended up with you guys. Hmm. What is, what, how has your experience been so far? Oh, it's been amazing. I love it. I, you know, I get to see so many people and, and my everything changes every day. So whether it's a different class coming in for lessons or projects, whether it's just students coming in to browse for books where I can have a chance to talk to them, I get to see a little bit of everybody. And, you know, with the classroom, sometimes you don't get that. You get your grade level. The library, you get everybody. So I do love that aspect of it. Hmm. How long have you been at North? This is the start of my fourth year. Hmm. How has your role changed? Well, how has your role evolved over the years that you've been here? Oh, it, well, you know what? Since it's like anything new for anybody, when I first started, I wasn't really entirely sure what I was doing either. And I kind of had to find my way. So over the years, I've kind of found more what I'm comfortable with and what people need from me. So my role basically evolves every year based on what people you know want or need from me. So um, I would say that I continually learn technology. I'm constantly getting to read really good books because I'm trying to help both English teachers, history teachers, you know, and other content area teachers find things that fit. So I would say that it evolves in that more and more people kind of understand what I can do and who I am. So more people are coming to get help, which I love. And I would say it's just more about me keeping up on all the technology and things like that, you know, learning, continuing to learn myself all the time. And how about now that we're online, how has it changed? Well, the nice thing about technology is that it travels pretty easily. <laughs> so um, I've actually been working with teachers now. We've been building websites for students during their classes. Um, we've done a couple of online format projects for some of the classes. And then, of course, on my end, because I'm the librarian, um, book catalogs and things like that. Since our catalogs are digital already, I'm able to build collections and things like that for teachers. So it's really just a matter of having less face-to-face -face contact like anybody else. Uh, but really, it, it kind of lends itself to what I do. So. It worked. It's worked okay. <laughs> What's your favorite aspect of what you do? The people, hands down. Seeing different people all the time, getting to share people's stories, being helpful. Um, even the reason I went into teaching in general was because of people. Do you have any specific memories or experiences that stood out to you? Oh, goodness. Um, it's going to sound funny, but crazy things like when they come in to do the group pictures. You know, I love seeing all the energy and things like that with people. Um, I do love the projects. We've done some really great things, whether it's Mrs. Rath's class has done some chariot races using some of our Sphero robots or doing book tastings and kind of being able to actually talk to people about a certain title or book. So all of those, I mean, I, I kind of feel like every day is like that for me, which is why I love what I do. Hmm. What's something that you learned by doing it? 
Hmm. Um, oh, I don't know. I learned that I have to be more patient with myself. I'm easily frustrated when things don't come easily to me. So one thing I have learned is that when I'm looking at these new projects or technologies or dealing with a content area I'm not good at, like science or math, that I have to kind of give myself a little bit of a break. I'm a little bit, you know, uh, hard on myself sometimes about getting things done and doing things correctly. So I would say that one thing this has taught me is because I talk to every content area and not just what I'm really familiar with, which was English, I feel like I need to, to learn to, you know, give myself a little bit of a break as I'm learning new things with all the classes. What's something that your students taught you or just students in general? Um, students in general, you know what I think they taught me the most is that how unique everybody is individually, um, you know, what they bring from, with, from their own backgrounds, uh, what they're interested in, even how they express themselves. You know, it's interesting for me because I'm not a typical classroom teacher. So my relationships with students are slightly different. So I think the one thing that they have taught me is to like, just can constantly be amazed at, at what people, you know, what they do, you know, and, and things like that. So I think that it's just more education about people. Well, that's all my questions. So do you want to say anything else to close it out? Um, I'm just going to say that I think coming to North was one of the best things I ever did. You know, when you move and you change jobs and, and I did that, I came from someplace I was super comfortable where I had a career that I loved. And I think that I was nervous about it, but having come to North and being a part of the community there with the staff and the students that I for hundred percent can say, I don't regret it. And I think it's one of the greatest things and choices I've made in the last few years. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day.